The idea for this video came about one day whenever I needed a haircut. So I tried to call and schedule an appointment with the lady that typically cuts my hair and she was booked out for about a week. And because I really needed a haircut, I had an event coming up, I had to go with another stylist. And that got me thinking, the lady that I typically use wasn't available, so I had to go with the next best option. And I've actually had circumstances where this has happened before and I've liked the second best option more than the person who typically cuts my hair. Like I've changed stylists a couple different times and this was one of those scenarios that happened I couldn't get to the person who usually cuts my hair I tried somebody else and they were actually better so I've just gone with that person from there on out so something that we can learn and we can take away from this is there's a few different ways that we can steal our competition's customers and one of those ways is being available for our customer when the competition isn't and then providing a better service and a better experience for that customer whenever we do offer them the service because like I said this has happened a couple different times I've had to um, change the person who cuts my hair I got a better service from someone else because the other person wasn't available and I ended up swapping the person who cuts my hair. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, and collecting payments all for free, check out Quote IQ. It'll be linked in the comment section and the description as well. So I've also heard a statistic that says 80% of customers go with the first person who sends them a quote, meaning as long as we can be the first quote that they receive eight out of 10 times, they're going to go with us. So a way that we can set ourselves apart from the competition as well as steal the competition's customers is we can answer the phone when people call Call, and then we can get them a quote as fast as possible one way we can do this is by utilizing a uh, remote quoting but by doing that we are gonna put ourselves in the best position to steal that customer from any of our competition the next thing that we can do to steal our competitions customer is to simply call them back so if a customer reaches out to you it's so so important to try and respond as quickly as possible but it's also just important to respond in general you guys would be surprised at how many companies get calls and they haven't set up the systems in place to be able to handle the call volume and get back with every single customer that calls and because of that people actually thank me for how quickly I'm able to get back with them um, and just the fact that I got back with them at all because they messaged a couple of other companies never heard anything back so the third way to steal your competition's customers is just to call them back in general right so obviously another way uh, that we can steal our competition's customers is to deliver on what you and the customer have agreed upon you need to try to do the best job for every single customer that you can obviously that's something that we always try to do but the last way to steal your competition's customers is to take care of the customers that you have, meaning do a good job, get reviews, and keep up with every single customer every single year uh, because recurring customers are the lifeblood of any business. And if you can build up enough recurring customers to fill up a year, you don't even have to worry about stealing anyone else's customers because you'll have more work than you even know what to do with.